everybody, it's Dara, and we have a lot of produce in this house. Herbie and I have been hitting the farmer's markets. We went to one on Wednesday. We went to the Sunday farmer's market on Main Street in Santa Monica. We have pluots, these plums. We have dried figs. I love these. These are from Avila and Sons Farms. Avila and Sons, A-V-I-L-A and Sons farms.com and I like to get these because sometimes when you're eating a salad or you make a chop something to go inside of a collard leaf it's really nice to have something chewy and it's really nice to have something sweet so that's something we got the black dried mission figs and we got the white ones okay so now I'm, I'm deciding what I'm doing because there's so much gorgeous produce, it's like, which do I use first? It's, very, it's a very good idea to use what you have already, not what you've got today. So a couple of days ago, I got these zucchini, and that could be nice because yesterday I got tomato sauce made with organic tomatoes. So if you don't have that, just blend up and you can have that too. So I might end up making a zucchini pasta with a tomato sauce and then a simple mixed green salad with maybe some Brazil nut Parmesan. And I know I did a recipe for that, but I'm going to just take this little food processor and put in Brazil nuts, nutritional yeast, garlic and salt, pulse it, and that's a nice thing to put over the salad. Plus, Brazil nuts are going to give us selenium, which is really hard in a raw vegan diet to obtain. I think that's the way, the way. So I'm gonna shut off the camera, wash the veggies, and I do wanna tell you what Herbie has been eating every day because Herbie's my dad. He moved here from New Jersey uh, four days ago. Today's the fifth day. He's starting a whole new organic raw vegan life in a whole new state across the country. And in the morning, he likes his cereal. So I've been buying Living Intention cereal. You can get it at the rawfoodworld.com. I get it at Whole Foods. And I buy the Raspberry Detox. And today I made hemp milk. Hemp seeds, water, a little bit of honey, a little bit of vanilla, and a teeny pinch of salt. And you pour that over the cereal. Cut bananas and cut and put fresh raspberries in. You could even kind of mush it up. That's what I like to do drizzle a little bit of honey, and it's this gorgeous, satisfying, sustaining cereal breakfast. And of course, he gets a tonic every morning. And I've been making a green soup every single day, just putting the nutrients in. It's just such a beautiful way to get um, a lot of nutrients in and a lot of fiber without having to sit and chew and, oops, making the mistake to not chew enough because I forget who said it. Somebody said, just remember, there are no teeth in your stomach. I think it was Marcus Rothkrantz. Um, there's no teeth in our stomach, so we have to chew here. We have to get our digestive enzymes started here. Amylase is the name of the digestive enzyme in our mouth. We want to start it so it sends messages to help us with digestion the rest of the way. So chew, chew, chew your food until it's liquid. And if you don't have time to do that, use your Vitamix to chew it for you. So I'm gonna shut this off, wash the zucchini, and I'll be right back. Okay, so I'm making the Parmesan. Well, Brazil nuts are not at my disposal. Pine nuts are not at my disposal. Pine nuts are the first choice. They're very oily, they're wonderful, but they're just so expensive and it's not necessary. Brazil nuts work great. Today I'm going to try walnuts and we'll see how that works. I'm gonna use some of the dragon herb walnuts and some of, yeah, these look great. I'm gonna use these. You can use regular, make sure they're organic walnuts. Ideally, you soak them and then dehydrate them. It makes them easier to digest. When you soak nuts, you are removing the enzyme inhibitors and allowing them to sprout. And so that makes them easier for us to digest. But these walnuts are gonna be great. We have nutritional yeast which I buy, I used to buy in the bulk bin at Whole Foods, but I hear they're not having them anymore there. So you have to buy them in containers. And well, we're just gonna try this and see how it works. Some nutritional yeast. 
And then that's a nice thing, a Parmesan is a nice thing to sprinkle on top of the zucchini. And when you have the zucchini, you have to think about, I don't have garlic, I ran out, oh well. The, when you think about the zucchini, you think, okay, what do I want to do with this? If they're small zucchini, spiraling them is going to cut out the core. And so sometimes it's a better use of um, zucchini to julienne them. And the way I like to julienne them is with my Borner V-slicer. So that may happen. And we can test it. Yeah, this looks nice. Lovely. I would use it. I am going to use it, so I'll be right back. We have a special guest for lunch along with Herbie, so maybe they'll show up. Okay, so here's the trick. So we're not going to call this a salad because I'm going to lengthen the little strips of the julienne zucchini. And the way I do that is instead of holding the zucchini and using my Borner V-slicer this way, I'm going to hold the zucchini this way and I will get long strips like this. And that will give us more of a pasta feel. So I'm going to go ahead I'm going to cut off the ends and just go ahead and do that. The Borner V-Slicer, you can look on my website at my favorite items. It's under $50 and it's just, to me, a must-have. It makes, you can julienne or pasta carrots, beets, cucumber, zucchini, and then you just make your topping and you have the fastest raw food ever. So that's my tip to you is definitely the two things that I just wouldn't want to live without are this and my Vitamix or my Blend Tech. They're, they're high performance blenders that will blend everything up into the finest consistency. This is the green soup and it has so much kale in it. It's not even funny. And eating that much kale is just so hard. So uh, that's why I love, one of the reasons I love my Vitamix. So, I'm very excited. Herbie's been able to meet Renee and Jeff, and everybody loved everybody, and that was really nice. And so, we're going to continue our celebration of life. Celebrate, you know, all the good things. And stick together. And when you find people who are on your same, same wavelength, do make raw food with them. It's fun to do this with another person. See, this is beautiful. And then I'll just put tomato sauce on it. If you don't have tomato sauce, you could cut up little tomatoes, a little olive oil, a little pepper, a little salt, and a little garlic. That's how fast raw food can be. And why do we eat raw food? And by raw food, I mean raw organic vegan food. And we eat it to give ourselves the most hydration, the most energy, the most alkalized body. We give ourselves a place that disease cannot live. Yeah, disease is everywhere, germs are everywhere. We keep our body alkalized and funnily enough, when we're alkaline, we're much calmer. So when our bodies are acidic, we're acidic, we're bitter, we're, we're, we're edgy. And so stress is, as they say, the number one killer. So if we alkalize our bodies, then we're naturally calmer. Our blood pressure is normal and things work properly. Our kidneys are functioning out, are, are filtering out the toxins and we're not holding on to things that don't belong. You know, Herbie didn't believe me, but I told him most of our country um, is definitely constipated and cranky. And I'm so into this kind of food because you get to eat food and you get to detoxify and you get to eliminate and you get to put in gorgeous nutrients. And that's exactly how our bodies were, are meant to function. So this is everything that's right with the world. Raw, organic, vegan food. And that's not to say that after you clean up, you shouldn't be eating some other things as long as they're clean. This is just the best way Oh, we landed, that's funny, we ended up on the counter. Uh, this is the best way to get there, to get clean, to get clear, to detoxify, to eliminate, to only live with the things that belong, you know, in your body, in your 
space in your, and you get clear on everything. You notice energy better. You notice um, when you feel good around people and when you don't. I hear a dog, they're about to start barking. I think our guest is almost here. So, she's been here before. You've seen her before. Da, da, da. So, this kind of food gives us energy, gives us beauty, gives us youth, gives us hydration, gives us alkalized bodies, and disease-free, healthy, so that we can be happy and healthy. You know, I was at the coffee shop the other day. Ever since I got the doggies back, I walk them towards Groundworks, and I'll get a yerba mate tea sometimes. And I was sitting outside having my tea in the sunshine, and this man said, didn't you used to come here? And I said, yes, and I recognize him. He's like, I thought it was you, but you look so much younger. And I was like, that's a tribute to the way I eat for sure. Wow, he almost didn't recognize me because I look younger. So those are the kinds of things we want to hear. And you know, somebody asked me, well, why are looks important? It's not the looks, it's not how big you are or the shape of things. It's the vitality and vibrancy that makes someone gorgeous. And you can see that, and when somebody isn't looking that way, it's just a reflection of how they're caring for themselves on the inside. So yes, we can have good bone structure, but we wanna have good skin, we wanna have bright eyes, we wanna have healthy. You know, healthy makes us beautiful. So that's why looks do matter. And not looks in our traditional you know magazine in our society way but looks in that when you see somebody you're like i mean renee walked in the door yesterday and i was blown away i mean absolutely gorgeous i mean glowing and strong you know it gives you like a strength a vitality a life force oh all that is going into this meal okay you guys our surprise guest has arrived <laughs> And she's going to meet Herbie on camera. Yay! Yay. Yay. This is for Michelle. So many good things. Hi, oh, Herbie. Yeah. <laughs> it's so funny because my brother's name's Herbie. Oh, wow. <laughs> so, um, and she's a good hugger. She's a great hugger. She's an angel. I'm in transit. So now you guys know who our surprise guest is. It's Michelle. And you've been in a couple videos. I have. And we made chocolate together for you guys. So you can look up that video. Plus, she has. We, I, mean, I, always I brought some chocolate for you as a housewarming. Yeah. It's his favorite. Really? Let's show it. Let's show it to them. And then <laughs> Hermie can try it. It's seriously the most gorgeous, the most oh. refined. If you remember, the person's energy goes into the food, and Rochelle's energy goes into the chocolate, oh. and she's extremely gorgeous. And so Not the only does she so make it, she brings it. Right? <laughs> you want to show oh. them. Love her. Love her. Love her. <laughs> Yeah. Okay. Fresh. You want to tell the them about your bunch. chocolates? It's um, cold pressed. Come closer because we're having a poor sound system today. Maybe I should lose my shoes so okay. I can kind of gather them. Sure, you might be cut off a bit. <laughs> you can lean in. <laughs> there we go. We're all together. <laughs> um, Good, it's right? raw, mm. vegan, low glycemic. It nestles in the cupboard. It well, I'm tr that's the kind of taste palette I have. No, this is so that's kind of what I go for. So that's... Great um, eyes. Yeah. Oh, thank yeah. you. Yeah. I told you she was you beautiful. You too. You've got very clear eyes. Yeah. You do. <laughs> so she's going to tell us about the chocolates. So it's cold pressed bean. And we use maca and purple corn extract. Mm -hmm. And um, very low glycemic and... It's vegan, and it's been doing really well. We've started to yeah. retail, and we also do the whole online thing. And um, it's been right. It's at yeah. Matthew Kenny's restaurant, Meg, and yeah. Erwan. it's um, Erewhon in Los Angeles. And you can it's very contact looking you can pretty. contact Rochelle below. I'm putting the link, so people are ordering it from all over. We've gotten such a great response, like so really? many, yeah, so many people oh. just love and love and love your chocolate. So that's so wonderful. Yeah, so um, that's the point. Mm -hmm. That's why I do it. Yeah, I mean, a lot and of this is pure. chocolate companies use a lot of preservatives and chemicals and GMO and all right. sorts of kind of crazy things and we don't know what's in our food anymore. Right. All this stuff's totally ethically sourced um, from farms in South America mm -hmm. and so anything that 
you know, I do to buy from them supports their villages, their schools, right. their beautiful football teams. Beautiful. So, yeah. all right. So, I'm going to finish making lunch. Uh, wow. Yeah. Oh my god. We're having zucchini with a walnut um, oh, wow. parmesan and an Italian salad. I haven't quite figured out the whole thing yet, but wow, we'll this looks amazing. Yeah, it'll be lovely. So, you guys can I relax. Right and I'll, time. What? Okay, right. <laughs> I <don't laughs> right. Good right. timing today. Okay. All right. So. Get your greens on everybody. I'll show you a picture of what this looks like, and we love you. And get your chocolate on. Get your chocolate on. Get your chocolate on. <laughs> Don't forget your greens. <laughs> yeah, and your chocolate. <laughs> you got one.